Hey team, how we doing? So as promised, here we go. We've got uh, Tiger Woods here, obviously. We're going to do a little TW analysis. And obviously it's just awesome to see him playing so much better. But what I wanted to do is compare his actual swing with what he practices. So it's a real insight into why he struggles a little bit at times, especially with a long one to fit everything in at the bottom. And he generally loses most things right. But what we can see here is that when he's actually hitting it, um, he's got a lot of early turn here. So you can see he turns his top half a lot. That generally just makes the club go in a little bit too much. And what it does is pull him down a lot here at this position. So you can see he actually goes down quite a long way here. His left side gets a long way under at this position relative to what he does in his practice swing. So if we bring this back to this position and we have a look at what he does with his practice swing, he moves his arms away without turning his top quite as much. So we'll see that on the left-hand side here, when he gets the club up to about sort of hand level, he's turned this a lot more. And in the one on the right, because he's lifting his arms up to him and he's not um, trying to turn as much, this doesn't turn as much, which enables his arms to go up more here. So you can see that the shaft is going up through his right forearm. He lifts his arms. The face and his wrist angles are incredibly neutral. But the more he turns early, as he does in the one on the left, the more in the club goes here, and inevitably when he lifts this, it's now going to shut a lot more. So not only is the arms uh, or the club shutting a lot more, we can see how much more he's getting pulled down by this direction of turn. So the more he turns early, the more down his left side goes, and then he has this compression move on the way down. So this is him trying to hit it harder. This obviously feels really powerful to him. But inevitably, the more down he goes, uh, the more his left side's in the way, the more out his arms go here on the way down. Whereas if we look at the guy on the right-hand side, here he's allowing his arms to fall more. He doesn't have the downward move with his body. The arms are coming a lot closer to him uh, into impact here. You can see here the arms are a lot further away from him and he's just he's up, uh, too down with this. And unfortunately, with this so far away from him on the way down, he just has trouble really squaring the face up through here. So you can see he's always you know, trying to flip this over to impact and we can see that um, with his longer stuff and driver, this is incredibly evident. Whereas when he stays more level with his top half, he just lets his arms fall in front of him here and then he can push his right side around his left and he's just staying so much more level with all of this on the way through. So what he should be doing ideally is everything he's doing in his practice swing where rather than turning a lot early, he lifts his arms, that pulls him round into the turn his arms and the club face get a lot more in the centre of his body and a lot more neutral rather than shut like they are on the one on the, on the left-hand side. And then his arms can just fall in front of him like this. So that would be the better way to start the sequence rather than starting the sequence with this down move and clearing move with the, with the lower body, uh, which in turn gives him less room to move, forces his arms away from him, and then obviously makes it a lot harder to bring the club around into impact, which is why with his driver in particular, you can see his arms are so far away from him coming in and that's just why he shuts the club so much. Oh, sorry, he flips the club or struggles to really close the club through impact. So that's what I'd love to see. If we could get him, if he was able to do this all the time, where his setup angles uh, are just a little bit more up with everything, he lifts the club up to him rather than him going down, then he lets his arms fall in front of him like this he'd be number one in the world again. But it's just this early turn with the top, in with the shaft, down with the body, and then this really severe down move with everything that makes it incredibly hard to fit everything in at the bottom. But, you know, he's, he's getting older and he wants to hit it harder. So that's, I think, the biggest problem is that what feels powerful to Tiger is this really severe move with the body, uh, but it just creates so much less room for him to swing his arms into. Whereas, it, uh, look, from the, in the, his past swings, there's absolutely no doubt that he's always swung at best when he lifts his arms up to him and then lets them fall more in front of him rather than trying to uh, drive so hard with the body and he'll just have so much more space. So there it is. So if you can get like the guy on the right, it's going to feel weaker, obviously, because he's going to der derive more of his power through his arm speed and not through, you know, violent moves with his body, which is why he's got such a bad body in the first place. Uh, but it's going to create so much more consistency for him if you can let it fall in front of him. Okay, team, any questions? Let me know. Type away below. Let me know what you think.